Hey folks, thanks for watching Science with Mikes. That's right, I said Science with Mikes because today we're privileged to have a special guest, Mike Canistero the second. Say hi to everybody, Dad. Hi folks, how you doing? This I, is my son, Mike the third, in I'm, case you never met him before. That's right, and Mike the first, he can't be here with us today, right? He's <laughs> watching right. from somewhere yeah, else. He's, he's way up there looking All right. down on us. My dad was such a big factor in me pursuing a higher education in science that I founded and named a scholarship after him. And I'm still alive. That's right. Let's keep it that way, Dad. And today we're going to make rocket candy. That is, we take potassium nitrate, an oxidizer, with sugar, and it's actually a propulsive explosion, as you'll see, with smoke and lots of excitement. But before we get started today, um, I want to talk to my dad about this. Dad, this is our 15th episode. And uh, check it out. When we first started out, we didn't have that. See that? No. That's a, that's a logo. No, what? We, we got a logo. Take, check it out. Uh, now I see it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, I see it. Yeah. Yep. Isn't that Boy, great? I'm proud of you, kid. That's, that's really class. It's there. official. Yeah. A well, logo. Yeah. Okay, let's make some rocket candy. Here's the deal, if you take regular old table sugar, combine it with an oxidizer, we're gonna melt it together until it's a solid mass, like a solid state rocket fuel. It'll make potassium carbonate, which is this white substance, big plumes of it, and a bunch of gases, including CO2, water, and nitrogen. That's what gives it the propulsive effect that you could launch stuff with it, which we're gonna do right now. What do you say we make some? Let's do it. Yeah, okay, cool. My dad was a chemist for how many years were you a chemist, Dad? Oh, uh, nearly, well, nearly 30, nearly hey, 30 years. Talk about what you did. Well, what I used to do is we used to uh, do a lot of work with multi-layer circuit boards. But the problem is, you know, if you wanted to take pride in your work, you could, no one knew what you did, you know, on the outside world. You know, if people that build bridges and built buildings, they could say, look, I did that. I could point to a circuit board and say, you know, buried down in there somewhere, I made and I had a little effect on that. <laughs> <laughs> but you would need a microscope to see what I did. <laughs> so. All right, want to make some rocket candy? Yep, let's okay. do it. Cool. This is a lot more visual. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, here's the ingredients for rocket candy. 40% just regular old table sugar, and 60% potassium nitrate, that's the oxidizer. Dad was nice enough to grind this really finely. And uh, used to make this when I was a kid, right? Let's turn it way yep. up. Okay, do your magic. You know, if you get hurt here, we're gonna name more than just a scholarship <laughs> after you. <laughs> Yeah, I could feel it getting hot. Just I probably should have stuck with the big old evaporating dish. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's hot. It's hot. I know it's hot. Okay. I found yeah. out the hard way. Yeah, no, I could have told you that. Yeah, no, you know, I might have spilled that. That smells like sugar to me. It was turning brown like sugar. Can you make that happen inside the container instead of outside? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm trying. See? This is never going to melt. <laughs> <laughs> what happened if you, you could eat this stuff? This is rocket fuel you could eat. Yeah. When you get there, it'll start looking like caramel. All right, give it away every time. I should let the suspense build up. Yeah, you're getting there, I can tell. It's it's feeling like it's... Uh, Starting to drag a little. Yeah, right? yeah, you got that thickness, and it's compressed a lot. 
That's a scientific term, you know, drag. Drag? It's starting to drag a little. It's starting to drag on this whole episode is what it's starting to do. <laughs> yeah. I'd say, I bet you you're three minutes away. Then we got to act quick when it starts melting because then you got to form it then. You know, one of my students is a chef, and he's like, oh, man, if you can't pick up this hot plate right now, he's like, yeah, yeah, man, I just go... I reached right into a deep fryer the other day. <laughs> Not really. He didn't really reach into a deep fryer, but that made it exciting. I used to kid the kids that I had an asbestos tongue. I'd put a match in my mouth, you know, and they, and they believed me. <laughs> All my life, I had an asbestos tongue. You want to take that up? Now, watch out. Those things are dangerous. So you can fling stuff. You, what do you want to do? You want to move it? I want to hold it because... Okay, yeah, hold it with that. It didn't blast the thing. Is Those things don't bite good, and they uh, they become well, not my tongs. Hand, my hand's getting they, hot. They, be, they stop being tongs, and they become flingers of, th of objects. And we're going to poke wires into it, right? Yeah. Which end? The I loop one, end? I got... No. No, the other end. I got one already set. Okay, I, I got it right set. here. Yeah, that's the short one. We should make one without a wire and just see if we can light it. It's like watching Congress. <laughs> <laughs> this is like watching that Channel 99 and you're just watching Congress in action. No, you're getting there now. See, you're getting something done. It's almost ready to liquefy or, you know, sludgeify. That's a word, right? Yeah. Technical. Sludgeify. Used it all the time. You're going to burn your hand. You're going to have some gloves on it. Um, how about I just... Yeah, fill that sucker good. Good and full up. That's the one. We're going to have to shoot that one off somewhere remote. Do we have a remote location we can go to? Oh, that's a lot. I don't know if we should... Okay. If you get a bubble in there, it'll explode, you know. Well... Ain't a heck of a lot I can do about it now. Yeah. Let me push it down a little more. Okay, now where'd our wire make, go? Make a ball. We need to go out by the train tracks and do this one or something. It's going to be it's gonna be a lot. That's your ball? Well, I'm trying to make it into a ball, but it's not cooperating. It don't have to be a ball. That's a lot. Okay, that's good. Give me another one. Okay. Hot plate off? Yeah. That's going to be a lot. Trying to make that one small. What do we do that? We could just dissolve it in water and put it down the drain if we did. Got to get rid of some, right? Yeah. You want to just make a ball by itself, too, and put it on that hot pad, and then we'll light that. It makes a lot of smoke. We're afraid that it's going to overwhelm the hood. It makes a lot of smoke. But you can do it outside. That'd be kind of fun. We, I, no, got, hot, I got hot pads for outside. Uh, we got to know. That's a lot, Dad. Can you make some? Can you cut that one in half? That's a lot too. Are you burning yourself? No, oh. not really. Okay, good. Well, you think that's too big? Okay, no, cut it in half. Lights. We huh? push it. We push it the envelope, but we don't want to evacuate the building. We try to push it, but. Oh, you want me to do? Uh, you want me to do another? Uh, Let's do a little wire, one. huh? Okay. Oh, I thought you wanted Do me to... Do a little one. Right. We got to start, and then we got to go big. That thing, I'm not so sure. It's got an air bubble in it, too. That's not good. Oh, don't worry about it. That's a little explosion. We're chemists. I got to come we here on Monday. deal with them all the day. You, you get to go home on Monday. I got to come back here. <laughs> all right. You're we assuming got... we're going to be able to come back. Right? Yeah, we might be trespassed off this thing. So, uh... This is a small one. Yeah. Can we light it now? Yeah. All right, let's go put it in the fume hood and just see what we got going on. Dad's leather hands have formed these uh, balls of rocket candy. You can kind of see really, really hard. Um, and then what we're thinking of doing is just lighting these balls attached to wire. And so maybe you get some sort of propulsion or at least uh, it won't be touching anything while it burns because it does make a whole big bunch of uh, uh, big old production.
So, ready? Hit it, hit in the fume hood here. What should I say? Here we go. Okay. <laughs> All right, um, we are going to ignite our candy rocket fuel and um, hopefully the fume hood can handle all the smoke hopefully. and stuff. It's actually not smoke, it's potassium carbonate, right? Yeah, that's, anyway. right. that's right. Okay, here we go. It's what all the solid fuel rockets, so uh, the plume they leave behind is all salt. Pretty good, huh? Well, I got nervous when it fell in the sink. <laughs> Those are way too big now. You want to do another one? Maybe do one more? Why How about they, just... Why are they too big? They handled it real well, How about I we, thought. We put this one on the pad. Okay. On the hot pad. Yeah, that'll be good. <laughs> I don't like when it starts flying around. <laughs> well, uh, that's what we were hoping for, right? Yeah. You got a safety sash. Yeah, I don't see what your problem is, really. I don't like having the stuff going right at me. Sugar. Would you believe that's sugar? That's sugar. That's crazy. Look at that. <coughs> and that's potassium carbonate, right? That's got to be potassium carbonate, the yeah. white. Yeah. It could be water vapor. All right, that didn't go. You want to do another one of these? That thing's gonna be monster. Yeah, that'll be kind of neat. That's gonna be kind of neat. Yeah. <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder if there's a lot of smoke coming out of the, the top of the building. I know, we, we should probably take breaks in between this. We're just like, I'm so scared. Let's do another one eight <laughs> seconds later. <laughs> All right, what do you think? The big beaker next? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go get that bad boy to go outside. We've got to go outside okay. with that. i got to take a hot plate. Yeah. A hot pad. i got to take a hot pad, yeah. and we're going to do that bad boy out there. All right. All right, we're going to go outside where uh, there's no fume hood, but... Hopefully we can make a big plume of smoke. We're hoping you'll catch a long horizontal fume from the a plume from the from the breeze. You know the crime lab is right next door. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Yeah. Okay, we'll go outside. Thanks for watching Science with Mike's. That's right, Mike's. What do you say, Dad? You ready? <laughs> Okay, we're alive. Thanks for watching. We're still not hurt. <laughs> Bye. Boy, Dad, it's great to have you here on campus to visit and show me how to make rocket fuel out of candy. That's thanks for coming. Oh, it's a great campus here. I yeah. really, really love it. Yeah. But what's that? boulder over there oh that's just a boulder it's uh artistic kind of thing i don't, I don't even really know what it means frankly well, i think i know what it means i i think the boulder represents the sum total of all the knowledge in the college here and the waves are the knowledge spreading throughout the country and the world wow i never saw that before you amaze me with your wisdom oh i just made it up all right, let's go make some rocket candy.